This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. I'm Roby Brock. Welcome to Talk Business and Politics Daily. It's Friday, July 15th. Let's check out today's top stories. GOP presidential presumptive nominee Donald Trump has selected Indiana Governor Mike Pence to be his vice presidential running mate. An official press conference will take place Saturday. Pence, who signed into law Indiana's controversial religious liberty bill, is a staunch anti-abortion advocate and has been vocal in his opposition to same-sex marriage. He's also perceived as helping Trump shore up his support from the evangelical wing of the GOP. Pence is also a Capitol Hill veteran, having served in Congress. On this week's Sunday broadcast edition of Talk Business and Politics, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin and former Arkansas Governor Jim Guy Tucker weigh in on the decision and more. You can read more online at talkbusiness.net as well. Great Britain can still change its mind about leaving the European Union, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair said in a panel discussion with former Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush in Little Rock. Blair said half of Britain's exports are to the European market, but now the debate has changed. Instead of making theoretical claims and counterclaims, the British people can have a real debate over known facts as the country continues to exit the European Union. He expressed hope, ultimately, that his country will remain in the EU. Blair, Bush, and Clinton, the three world leaders, were participating in graduation ceremonies for the Presidential Leadership Scholars Program, a collaboration between four presidential libraries. And those are your top stories of the day. You can check out a full read on those articles and other stories that are in process at our website at talkbusiness.net. We'll take a quick break and play a portion of my recent interview with Governor Asa Hutchinson. There's new news on where he stands on several ballot issues that could be on, on the November ballot. Plus our Sunday TV preview. We're back after this. First Security is here. Only here. So that means we're here, here, and here. Even here. And definitely here. Because here is where we want to be for you. First Security Bank. Only in Arkansas. Arkansas's most abundant natural resource provides the core asset for Delta Timber Corporation. In addition to the sustainable yield stewardship of its well-stocked timberlands, Deltic adds value by integrating its efficient wood products, manufacturing facilities, as well as through planned development of commercial and residential real estate. Deltic Timber Corporation, creating value for a growing Arkansas. Last week on television and throughout this week's Daily Show, we've played portions of our recent interview with Governor Asa Hutchinson and his trade trip to Europe and his plans for next week's GOP convention. Today, where does the governor stand on several key state ballot issues that are likely to be on the ballot in November? Medical marijuana, casinos, and tort reform. Let's find out. You stated your opposition to a pr proposed ballot issue that will be on the November ballot, uh, medical marijuana, earlier this week. It looks likely that there will also be a casino amendment uh, that will qualify with signatures as well as um, a tort reform um, uh, measure as well. Where do you stand on those two issues, casinos and tort reform? Well, in terms of uh, casino, I've never uh, been supportive of expanding casino uh, gambling and presence here in Arkansas. We have two venues that have electronic games of skill, if you will, in mm -hmm. Hot Springs and... Uh, it's gaming, not Springs. gambling. Gaming exactly. is how they describe it. Uh, and, and so those are our two venues historically. They're very strong. They add to our economy. I don't believe we ought to expand casino gambling. Particularly troubles me that they have three different spots designated and you're really foisting casino gambling, for example, in Harrison, that the people of Harrison don't have an opportunity to vote on. So uh, it changes their culture by a statewide vote. So I'm opposed to that, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the marijuana initiatives. Of course, uh, I've expressed my opposition to that legalization. I've asked the Surgeon General to take a lead role in terms of the medical marijuana uh, because it's not the voice of law enforcement that's critical here, helpful, but the swing votes will be those that will be swayed and influenced by uh, those physicians who say, this is a good direction or a bad direction and 
and when the medical community has not come together and said we need to have smoking marijuana as medicine, then I think we ought to listen to that community. Uh, in terms of the tort reform, uh, I'm still looking at that. Uh, I've been a broad supporter of tort reform, but uh, I haven't uh, uh, looked at that close enough to know uh, where I'd come down on that. That's Governor Asa Hutchinson from our interview earlier in the week. We'll run through some big numbers of the week, and we're back with a preview of Sunday's TV program after this. This is Talk Business and Politics Daily. Stick around. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone, but people everywhere depend on us. Trucking delivers or everything stops. And that's what drives me. As Arkansas's population grows, so do our energy demands. But with the right mix of resources, reliable, affordable power will always be a reality. These resources are all around us in our rivers, blowing through our trees, even right below our feet. The answer isn't focusing on one resource, it's embracing them all. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas know that a balanced approach to power builds our communities and powers our dreams. Visit themixmatters.com and see why there's power in knowledge. Well, often we aim to bring you a look at some key numbers from around the state that have been part of our news coverage throughout the week. So let's go inside the numbers for a look at the latest. $970 million. That's the value of homes sold in just Benton and Washington counties alone during the first six months of this year. That's a record. Home sales in those two counties are up 36% for the six month period compared to a year ago. They will easily eclipse $1 billion in sales year to date by the end of this month. 293,500, that's the amount of money raised last month by Healthcare Access for Arkansans, a committee seeking to pass an amendment that would cap non-economic damages in medical lawsuits. Most of the money coming from the nursing home industry. An opposing group, the Committee to Protect Arkansas Families, announced their formation this week. They are led by nursing home resident advocates, but no money reported in this first filing period. $54.5 million. That's the quarterly profit earned by Arkansas-based Bank of the Ozarks in the second quarter. They announced those record earnings this past week. That was a 21% increase over the previous year's comparable period. Now with Bank of the Ozarks growth, they now have $12.2 billion in assets. That's another big number that you can bank on. When we come back, a preview of Sunday's TV program. We've got a great lineup. I'm Roby Brock. This is Talk Business and Politics Daily. Circuits turn on the lights by making a connection, by closing the loop. At Entergy, we believe our economy is circular too. What you put in comes back. So we invest billions in new infrastructure, which helps attract new industry, which helps create new jobs. We partner with local communities to electrify the economy. And together, we power life. Entergy. At Deltic Timber Corporation, we believe in the responsible creation of communities in the development of neighborhoods that bring convenience and comfort to life, while respecting the beauty and delicacy of nature. Like the harmonious balance of environment and expansion found in the thriving communities of Chenal Valley and Chenal Downs in Little Rock and Red Oak Ridge in Hot Springs. Because the best communities in the natural state are the ones that help keep it that way. On Sundays at 9.30 a.m. in Central Arkansas on KATV Channel 7 and 10 a.m. on KAIT's NBC affiliate in Northeast Arkansas, you can catch Talk Business and Politics weekly broadcast program. Here's a preview of who and what is on this week's show. The conventions are about to begin. Republicans in Cleveland, Democrats in Philadelphia. What to expect and how will the vice presidential picks play out? Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin and former Arkansas Governor Jim Guy Tucker talk politics. 
highways and tourism. Two state leaders offer their thoughts on how to bridge Arkansas's highway funding gap and how to build Arkansas's off-road visitor count. Shannon Newton with the Arkansas Trucking Association. Parks and Tourism Director Kane Webb are our guests. Arkansas's home sales report show the real estate market strength. We'll go inside the numbers for a closer look. So be sure to tune in to KATV Channel 7 in Central Arkansas at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday morning and 10 a.m. on KAIT's NBC affiliate in Northeast Arkansas to catch those interviews and more. That's all for this edition of Talk Business and Politics Daily. Don't forget to check out the latest news on our website at talkbusiness.net. Plus, follow us on Twitter at TB Arkansas or on Facebook or LinkedIn. Just plug in Talk Business and Politics to find us and follow. And if you want to receive our daily email newsletters, they're free, and you can receive them every morning in your inbox before 7 a.m. Just email me at roby at talkbusiness.net, and I'll sign you up. And if you want to listen to a podcast of this show, perhaps on your commute to and from work, or in the iTunes store and on Stitcher, or you can just play us through your smartphone. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you this Sunday, and we'll be back here on Monday with John Brummett and a whole new week of guests on Talk Business and Politics Daily. Until then, take care.